It was an order that reverberated through Seattle and Toulouse with the force of a sonic boom. A major Chinese airline, long loyal to Boeing, turned away from the Dreamliner. Instead, it placed a landmark order for the Comac C929, a jet that exists only on paper. This seismic move signaled a new era in global aviation. With Boeing deliveries banned in China, the C929 order was a clear statement. China is building its own storm. The era of the duopoly is officially under threat. To grasp the gravity of the C929 order, look past the aircraft and into the heart of escalating US-China tensions. This isn't about which plane flies farther, it's about power, influence, and the redrawing of global supply chains. Beijing's halt on Boeing deliveries turned the world's largest aerospace company into a pawn in a high-stakes geopolitical chess match. Aviation once symbolized global cooperation. Now, the choice of aircraft reflects a nation's political alignment. By committing to the C929, China signals its intent to build an alternative ecosystem, its own technology, standards, and interests. This is the culmination of China's Made in China 2025 strategy, dominate key tech sectors, with aerospace as the crown jewel. The government's directive is clear, buy Chinese, even if it means absorbing the risks of an untested platform. The order is a profound political statement, China will no longer depend on foreign technology for such a critical sector. This decision forces every nation and airline to consider where they stand. The lines are being drawn, not in boardrooms, but in capital cities. For nearly 50 years, Boeing and Airbus ruled the skies, shaping everything from aircraft design to global safety standards. This duopoly, built on interdependence, is now facing its first real challenger, COMAC, backed by the full weight of the Chinese state. China, once the biggest customer, is transforming into the most formidable competitor. Geopolitical tensions are accelerating this fragmentation. The US ban on tech exports and China's retaliatory ban on Boeing have weaponized the aviation supply chain. What was once a symbol of cooperation is now a source of strategic vulnerability. Airbus benefits from Boeing's lockout in China, but knows China's ultimate goal is to replace both Western manufacturers. Boeing and Airbus now face a state-backed rival with different motivations. Comac's goal isn't profit, but national strategy. This changes the rules of the game entirely. The stable duopoly is cracking, revealing a more divided and uncertain future for aviation. Airlines and suppliers must now navigate a landscape where politics, not just performance, determines success. The global aviation order is fracturing. The next era will be defined by competition, not cooperation. The contrast between the two aircraft at the center of this storm is stark. The Boeing 787 Dreamliner is a proven workhorse, with over a thousand in service and a mature global support network. Airlines know exactly what they're getting, reliability, efficiency, and resale value. The Comac C929, by contrast, is still a dream, no prototype, no final design, and a first flight years away. Choosing the C929 is a leap of faith in a promise, not a product. The risks are immense unproven performance, potential maintenance headaches, and a limited secondary market. For airlines outside China's sphere, investing in the C929 is a massive financial gamble. The Dreamliner remains the only logical commercial choice for most of the world. But, for China, the calculation is different. Strategic autonomy outweighs short-term risk. The C929 is a symbol, not just an airplane. The battle is as much about national pride as it is about engineering. China's quest for aerospace independence is riddled with paradox. To be self-reliant, it still depends on Western technology. The C929's blueprints reveal a web of international suppliers, critical systems and, most crucially, engines are sourced from the West. China's homegrown engine, the AEF-3500, lags far behind Western rivals in efficiency and reliability. Without a competitive engine, the C929 can't compete globally. Western suppliers face a dilemma. The Chinese market is lucrative, but helping Comac means aiding a future competitor and risking political backlash. Many are now hesitant, fearing IP theft and US restrictions. Comac must choose use inferior domestic tech and fall behind, or rely on foreign parts and delay true self-sufficiency. The ban on US parts has already created a looming maintenance crisis for China's Boeing fleet. The global aviation supply chain is deeply intertwined, untangling it will be painful and slow. China's dream of independence is still tethered to the West, 
The C929 order is more than a challenge to Boeing and Airbus, it's a catalyst for the fracturing of global aviation. For decades a single set of safety and airworthiness standards allowed planes to fly almost anywhere. Comac's biggest hurdle is breaking into this exclusive club. Its C919 jet hasn't gained FAA or ESA certification, limiting it to China. The C929 will face even tougher scrutiny. Without Western certification, it will be barred from much of the world. This could create two parallel aviation spheres, a Western block flying Boeing and Airbus and an Eastern block flying Comac. Airlines would face higher costs, split fleets, and more complex operations. Passengers could see fewer choices and higher fares. The seamless global travel we take for granted could become a patchwork of politically aligned networks. Separate systems would mean different safety protocols, maintenance and digital standards. Airports and MRO networks would need to duplicate infrastructure. The move away from universal standards threatens decades of progress in aviation. We stand at a historic inflection point. The dream of a single open sky is under threat. The C929 order reveals a future where the plane you fly may be determined by your government's foreign policy, not your airline's preference. The belief that aviation could transcend politics is being tested. And the results are troubling. Passengers may soon find their travel options limited by geopolitics, not technology. Airlines are caught between commercial logic and political pressure. Forced to diversify fleets for strategic reasons. The question. Are we entering an age where the sky is carved into spheres of influence? The C929 is still a paper airplane, but the forces it represents are already reshaping our world. The future of flight may be one of divided skies, and we will all pay the price.